Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. We are back here with Kevin Richardson, our Dr. Kevin Richardson. See, that's a newly acquired title the past few months now. So excited to have him yeah. here. And I know we always talk about hypnotherapy, all how he can help you in so many different ways. So let, let him give the introduction. Kevin, <laughs> what's up? Always hey, hey what's up? What's up? Good morning. Good morning. It's a beautiful sweetheart. Monday morning. It is. And Not each much. and every week we have great conversations. We're going to talk a little about past life regressions in a moment, but let's start yeah. with just a little introduction as to all 145 ways that you can help us. <laughs> no, don't, don't. That'll take up the whole show, but say hello. And uh, hi, good morning. My name is Kevin Richardson and I'm your favorite hypnotherapist. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bias, just a little bias. And <laughs> hypnotherapy can help you in at least 145 different ways. Yeah. Uh, yeah. With different conditions, different uh, issues. And one of the things that keeps I keep being asked is, what about past life regression? Mm-hmm. And I learn about what I was in a previous life. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> do you know? Did you do your own? Can you know? Do you know? I did my own. I did my own. Okay, um, we're talk about that. That's awesome. It, it it well, there wasn't much to talk about. Oh, let's turn that off. I like it though. There wasn't much to talk about. Um, I didn't see anything. <laughs> 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 are you a to, new soul then does that mean like you're like one of the newer spirits or i i don't know i don't know um i i fell asleep <laughs> <laughs> are you serious and maybe you you were told you you figured it out but then you fell asleep you woke up and you forgot <laughs> oh it was uh it just happened to be a a day where the night was i was up most of the night studying and i was tired and so when they said, okay, it's time to do past life regression. I just regressed <laughs> and went to sleep. That's great. So, um, so, and I haven't tried it since, but uh, I am working with clients that do, do past life regression. So, and in preparing for this, I wanted to see, is there any documented evidence of mm-hmm reincarnation mm-hmm. well we probably all remember in april of 2004 there was a six-year-old young man by the name of james leninger and he was having nightmares and his mom was saying well what are the nightmares about well it's about a plane crash it's been i've been hit in a plane and and i'm going down And so as she started asking more questions, he was describing that he was a fighter pilot in World War II at Hiroshima. And he was shot down over Hiroshima. And so as with past life regression, when you see something or you find something, you wanna double check it, you wanna verify it to see how accurate it was. And he would only play with airplanes. Wow. According to his mother. And so his mother brought, bought him a model airplane, a, a fighter jet. And on the bottom of it, she says, well, this is where the bomb is. And he said, oh no, mom, that's a drop tank. Six years old. Do you know these things? What is a drop tank? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, she began to start wondering about who is this child of his, of hers. And he was dreaming about crashes. Well, th- the father became fascinated with this and went on the internet and started scouring the internet and found that there was a 21 year old fighter jet pilot, the only one who was shot down over Hiroshima. Wow. And his name was James. (laughs) 
Who knew? Wow. And so uh, in, in further discussion with the young child, with James Lenger, he actually named a person, Jack Larson, as someone who was flying with James and was in the plane next to him. They found Jack Larson. He was a fighter pilot over Hiroshima, Jima and he saw James get shut down. Wow. Witnessed it. And uh, James, the six-year-old said, well, he left on a, on a boat named Natoma. And Jack Larson confirmed that that was the name of the boat that they left on. Wow. So this is a well-documented case of a reincarnation. And in, in following up to kind of see where the young man is now, uh, his parents are saying that as he ages, the memories are less, um, are coming less. Mm -hmm. And he's starting to forget. So in reincarnation, the... The literature says that when people are in their younger years, like three to six, if they are a reincarnated person, then that's when the memories start popping up. That's when they start coming up because interesting. the culture and society hasn't put layers on top of them mm -hmm. and uh, where they forget where they begin to forget. So I thought, well, this is really fascinating that there are actual documented cases where reincarnation occurs. And in some religions, they do believe in reincarnation. And in doing further research, I thought, well, who else believes in it? And I thought, well, let's just look into it. Numerology. Now, numerology, there's some controversy with it. Some people believe in it. Some people don't. And that's okay. Yeah. But in numerology, they're saying that if you take your birth date and add up the digits to your birth date and come up with a single digit, that will tell you how many lives you're on and where you are in your wow. reincarnation stage. So I thought, well, that's really interesting. And so I thought, well, what does that mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so they funny. actually came up with some very different things. Like if you're number one, that's the primal force. Um, mm -hmm. It's a new beginning. That's where you're just starting. Uh, number two is intuitive. Um, saying that you're also intuitive, unifying, and influential and then there's number three that's the creative person number four is the planner the dynamic number mm -hmm. five is dynamic course etc 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 so there are other systems in our culture that do talk about reincarnation and do talk about life paths so I, you know, at first I was thinking, well, maybe in hypnosis, past life regression, yeah, do I believe in it or not? Well, I do believe in it because That's in it. other parts of our society, mm -hmm. there is evidence of it. Yeah. And in quantum physics, yes, yeah. we had to study quantum physics and quantum mechanics, uh, which is fascinating. In quantum mechanics and quantum physics, it does allow for uh, reincarnation and it does allow for past lives mm -hmm. in their theory is that the soul never dies yeah. the spirit never dies it lives on forever the body ages and you transition out of your physical body and you go back into the spirit realm and then you're prepared to come back so I thought, wow, that's really cool. Yeah, it and is. yes, I have wondered what is my past life, <laughs> and uh, 
I, I am planning to go through it again. And I'm working with a client right now in that we're preparing to do it. So in the hypnosis world, when we're doing past life regression, mm -hmm. you have to work up to it. And what do I mean by that? The first time you enter hypnosis, you may not go as deep as you think you do. And you may, you may just kind of go into a light state to go and do past life regression, you really have to go into a very deep state of hypnosis so that you can bypass all the critical thinking and get down to uh, a very deep level in the subconscious. And so typically what the hypnotherapist will do is do maybe four or five sessions or maybe six sessions to help the person train themselves to go into a very deep state. And one of the theory, one of the thoughts is that before you go and do and go and enter into your past life to see what it is, is sometimes you want to deal with issues that are coming up first. So one of the treatment techniques is to take someone down deep and they're walking down a hallway of doors and is there a door that's pulling you towards it and if you have an intuition to go to a door that could be a issue that needs to be addressed before you can go and do the past life so that's one thought the other thought is that you can just go right past the doors and go to the final door at the end mm -hmm. of the hallway and open that up and see your past life. My experience in working with folks in doing past life regression is that they see shadows. So some of the typical questions that I ask is, are you inside or are you outside? Is it light or is it dark? What style of clothing are you wear? What does your clothing look like? Mm -hmm. Does a name come to you? Um, are you in a house? Are you in a barn? Where are you? So it's helping them to identify. The hypnotherapist, wants to be cautious so as not to implant memories that are false memories. Mm -hmm. So our questioning is very vague and it's very open-ended so as not to lead the person into a particular uh, direction. So it's, it's fascinating. It is so fascinating. Um, like I said, I'm working with a gentleman now who we're working up towards that. And our end session is, yes, we'll go down and we'll do the past life regression. Some people, they come to us and say they think something happened in their past life that's interfering with their current life. Hmm. And that seems to be what's going on. Uh, that's kind of what their thinking is. So... Um, it's fascinating. It's just absolutely fascinating to, to watch this. I do caution folks that when they want to do past life regression is that memories aren't accurate. Our brain does not store memories like a videotape. It's bits of pieces here, it's a bits of pieces there. It's mixed in with emotion. It's, mi it's mixed in with different sensory input. So um, there might be some emotion on top of the memory that could cloud the memory. Um, that's why we tend not to do age regression. Past life regression is different than age regression. 
in what way? I could see that on your mind. Yeah, <laughs> How yeah, is that yeah. different? How is that different? Age regression, you're looking at the person's current life and you are helping them go back in age to a particular time to recover a repressed memory. Uh, sometimes they'll do this with abused children. And there is warnings about this. The therapist, the hypnotherapist really needs to be trained in doing age regression so that false memories are not inadvertently planted. There was a real famous case of in Los Angeles, oh, 20 years ago, um, of a daycare center where the children were saying, oh, they were being taken to these different places and there were satanic rituals and um, all this was happening. And the owners of the daycare center were just ruined, just ruined. And they were doing age regression therapy and trying to recover hidden memories. In doing that, the hypnotherapists were not trained properly. And it later came out that they were implanting false memories. Wow. Not knowingly, yeah. they were very innocently planting false memories. But in the meantime, those false memories ruined the lives Mm -hmm. of the teachers, the owner, uh, just ruined their lives. Yep. So with past age, with re age regression, you have to be very cautious. You really want to be trained into doing that. Mm -hmm. um, forensic hypnotherapists are trained on how to do that. Um, a forensic hypnotherapist works with the police agencies and works with private investigators and lawyers to help mm -hmm. folks identify repressed memories, but they're trained in it. They go through extra training on how to do that. Yeah. So um, that's a real cautious area. When people ask me, do I do age regression? And I kind of just kindly say, no, I don't. Mm -hmm. um, I don't feel like I've been properly trained in it. I'm not a trained forensic hypnotherapist. So mm -hmm. I haven't had the necessary training. Yep. I'm aware of the caution of it, but I haven't had the training to do that. Past life regression, that's where you're going back all the way back. And you're mm -hmm. going back into the deepest memories and the deepest. And again, we had, we're trained in how to uh, remain neutral and how to facilitate the person's memories, but not implant memories. Got it. So, um, like I say, with past life regression, you really, it's a train, it's a training session. You go from session to session to session and each was session you're going progressively deeper mm -hmm. into a, a deeper state. And then once you're able to get down to the deepest level, um, then we do the, then we open the door. And that is figuratively speaking that you're down as far down as you can go into the basement of memories. Until, yeah. And then you open the door and tell me what you see. I do caution folks that sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, um, sometimes it takes more than one session, sometimes it takes several sessions wow. before you start getting glimpses. It's not like looking at a movie. When you open the door, it's not like you're stepping into a movie set. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you go, oh yeah, it was Calamity Jane. Uh, it, it is shadows, it is glimpses of things. 
And so it's learning how to interpret the glimpses and the shadows that helps you to identify. And then during that period of time, the session is recorded. And so that recording does go to the client so they can begin to verify it. Hmm. They can begin to look to see if there was a name back in history that matches the name that they were given or that there's a place that matches. Um, Or if they were on a boat, they can go back and look to see if there was the name of that boat. So there is some uh, verification that's involved with this to make sure that um, what you're seeing is accurate. You got me. I want to go search about James later. I wonder where he is now. (laughs) Did he become a pilot too in his new life? Sorry. (laughs) I, you know, Uh, That was my same thought. It's like, darn, I can't find anything on him after he was six years old. Wow. And that was in 2004. So we're looking at 16. Not that long ago. um, 2004, 2014, 10. We're we're about 18 years. Mm -hmm. So he'd be, what, about 24? Yeah. So Hmm. could be. Yeah, he's at that age where he could be in the Air Force, and yeah. But um, and the really interesting part of that story is that when they did talk to Jack, Jack uh, and the family of the pilot sent little James some of James James Hurston Jr. They did send him some of his personal possessions so it it has an interesting story um but yeah james james levington appears to have been reincarnated from james hurston jr and the even during the interviewing process little james the six-year-old identified that he took a direct hit in the engine, which caused his plane to go down. Jack Thurston verified that. Wow. Saw the plane get hit and he got hit directly in the engine. So there, there's actual verification to historical facts that back up what six-year-old James mm-hmm. was saying. And there was no way the fan, the parents verified that there's absolutely no way that little James would have known about James Hurston. Yeah. So it is fascinating. Yes, I do want to find out. <laughs> so if I get a break today, I'm going to start a Google search. <laughs> but <laughs> someone so, his age should be like on social media, maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, James Lender reach out to us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tell us what you're doing. Reach out wow. to Jill. Yeah. Reach out to Jill. Find out. It'd be a wonderful interview uh, to follow up 18 years later wow. and see where he's at and see if he remembers what he was going through at, the, at six years old. That's amazing. So um, it, it's just fascinating. It's mm-hmm. fascinating. And past life regression, it's a fascinating adventure um no guarantees but it's guaranteed you know it's a guarantee to really get down into a deep level and to begin to explore so if people are curious give me a call go on the journey together and we'll see what we find out so my website is www.kevinrichardson.com therapy.com and my email is kevin richardson therapy at gmail.com and my phone number 760-902-2274 and if you're interested in seeing what your life was like 100 years ago give me a call 
Now, are you going to redo it again to see for yourself? Or maybe yeah, I else am. To it to see what, I am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I just want to make sure I've gotten a good night's sleep. <laughs> Got I'm it. embarrassed to say that I fell asleep. So no, don't be. Uh, when I go into hypnosis, I really go deep. And so it's common for me to fall asleep when I'm in <laughs> hypnosis. Um, and so I, like I say, I, I listen to my own tapes every day. I, I practice self-hypnosis every day. And for those that may not know, though, you also record the sessions and you're supposed to listen to it. Just explain that to I us. I record the sessions. Yes, there's a, I am set up to record sessions. And then we email the session to you. And then on a daily basis or whenever you can, you want to sit and listen to the recording. So with hypnotherapy, there is, there is homework involved with that. And that's listening to the tapes and doing your tapes at least two or three times a week to help to, to help support the suggestions that you're seeking and the mm -hmm. changes that you're wanting. So it. it's cool. It is it's cool. cool stuff. You got me cool fascinated beans. on James. I'm going to go look him up. Is that okay? <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> and we get in touch with him by next week and we'll have him on the show. And he'll be oh. like, like no, he'll be like, uh, I don't remember any of this. My parents are crazy. You never know, right? Maybe he's just you never over know. talking or about it, doesn't even really remember anymore. So it's um null and void. But I'm gonna do some research myself to see if I can find him. That would be a fact. I'd love to be on that show. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Could you imagine? That'd be so cool. Oh my it would God. be so cool. 24, you know, 18 years later and see where he's at. Good idea. Well, Kevin Richardson, again, if we reach out to you, uh, give us the website one more time. www.kevinrichardsontherapy.com and email kevinrichardsontherapy at gmail.com and yeah. phone number 760-902-2274. And still not on social media yet, right? We're working on that. I am on LinkedIn and okay. I am on Facebook. Oh, under so, what? Under Facebook? Is it Kevin Richardson or is it yeah, under Kevin Richardson? Yeah. Um, I'm on Facebook. Yay. So, not Instagram yet. We'll work on that. Not Instagram. I, I love Facebook and now, but I love Instagram even more now. It's easier for me. It just is. Is it? Yeah. I don't know about Instagram. But then I, I, all these youngins, they're on the Snapchat, the TikTok. There's just so much of it. It's like, how do you like spend your days? And like, I just can't keep up. Yeah. <laughs> I spend hours on Facebook and it's like, where did oh, the day go? <laughs> I know. And then, and then if you have like Twitter, Instagram, you have all the other platforms. It's like, how do people live? That's another yeah. issue. We need to maybe start doing hypnosis to get this younger generation off of that because they're so <laughs> into their I feel like they don't. I feel like their lives are just different. All right. Anyway, I'm on a, a tangent here. Kevin, have a great day. Pleasure speaking you with too. you today about past life uh, regression and all you can work with us on and uh, have a great day. Thank you. You too. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world. This is the podcast business news network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's, it's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house. And there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's going to be okay.